Hello YouTube fans, this is the Dallas Scar Clown and Merry Christmas! It is here, it is finally here, Christmas. And what's your review? <laughs> you can tell from the title. Black Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry, Black Xmas. Let's just get started. Black Christmas. Now, the guy that made Final Destination 1 and 2 actually made this movie. He also did some X-Fire movies, and he did Willard, the remake. Um, and actually, I actually enjoyed Willard. Uh, when I heard that he made this, I was just like, oh, well, he made some of the X-Files. So, um, not bad, not bad. A good resume. <laughs> uh, there's only one problem with this movie. One fucking problem. Oh, you want me to show you? I'll show you. That. That. Right? There is what's wrong with this case. Dimension fucking films. Are you shitting me right now? You ruin, you know, the Halloween franchise. Now you have to ruin the very first original movie that spawned a great, great genre over the years. Yes, the original Black Christmas, by the way, this is not called Black Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has in the title when you first see the movie. But it says Black Xmas. Black Xmas. Even says in the fucking CD. The only way it says Black Christmas is even if you watch it. So even if you do think this is Black Christmas... Who's going to know it if it is the remake of Black Christmas? People are going to be like, Black Xmas? So, <sighs> Dimension Films, god damn it. And you know what I heard? That the studio kind of took over. Alright, let's, uh, let, let's, let me check my notes. Okay, let's see here. Um... In the original, Billy was just, you, you didn't see him. You didn't see him. You didn't even see Agnes. You didn't even know the backstory of Billy. That's what was so frightening of him. You didn't see the backstory. It's like Michael Myers, you know? You didn't know the backstory. Kind of like Leatherface. And by the way, they're making a Leatherface... movie about him being a child. Didn't we already have that and Tessa Chainsaw Massacre in the beginning? But moving on. All these chicks, alright, the story is that the sorority sisters are snowed in, so they have to stay in the house, and in the, in the meantime, Billy escapes from the mental hospital, and so does his sister slash daughter, You. But, um, you know, that's just me. But, <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, I like porn, bloody horror. That's how I call it. Meaning the gore. Because, you know, I like, you know, ABC's of Death 1. I haven't watched 2 yet, but I, I like ABC's of Death, those type of gore. But, I don't know. Uh, most people might be like, they just doing gore just to be gory, and yeah. It, I mean, there's a difference between trying to be gory and be like, uh, and trying to be gory and be like, nah. Nah. That's, this is it right here. Nah. At least in ABCs of Death, you turn away. You know? that That's actually what they're supposed to do. But in this, it's like, mm, no. 
nah, I, I, I can do better. You know, it's that, it's, it's, it's like that. It's like that. And this, the sorority sisters are all bitches. And, you know, Gomona Flowers, I'm going to call her Gomona Flowers because, you know, she's in Scott Pilgrim. Mary Elizabeth Winston, she dies in this one. Poor Mary. Poor, poor Mary. She didn't have to be in this movie. She really didn't. I mean, for kind of like a couple more years, she would have done Scott Pilgrim vs. The Ward. I know this came out in, what, 2006? Seven? Six or seven. So, yeah. She just had to wait until a few more years. And, by the way, Mary Elizabeth Winston. Hot. But, anyways. Black Christmas is just... It's just crazy. I just... Agnes, she gets her eyeball taken out because her brother was trying to kill her on Christmas. So, Agnes goes to the sorority house, starts killing the bitches, but who's really killing the bitches? The Billy or Agnes? And, by the way, Billy's not even that scary. Only one of my furry parts, and I think everyone can agree with this, is when he bashes his mother to a bloody... Hope. I mean, just looking at it, it's like, <laughs> oh, every time he hits her, it's like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's like one of the, it's like, it's like watching, it's like watching your favorite football player about to, about to hit a home run. It's like, yes, 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 yes. Touchdown, bitch. <laughs> I love that part. And then he gets a cookie cutter <laughs> on her back, starts cutting it. Puts part of her skin inside the fucking oven. Eats it. Use milk and eats it. Oh my god. Perfect. That was beautiful. That was perfect. 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 Why? You did not continue something like that. That was perfect. Except for the part with, you know, the motherfucking son then having a baby. Mainly because she killed her husband and then she buried him under the, you know, house. With her new lover. And her son watched and locked him up. For years and years. Then had sex with him. Then nine months later. Agnes was born. You make me sick. Fuck you. I mean it's like. Really. It is really really stupid. I mean. I know it's my opinion, guys, but Jesus Christ, what kind of Black Christmas is this? The original Black Christmas was was suspenseful. It it only it you actually felt for the characters here. The first character is killed in thirty seconds. Not even thirty. Or, not, <laughs> do you care for them? No. And the original was suspenseful. You actually knew the characters. And then when they died, it was just like, shit, they died. And you mostly thought they were not going to die. You wanted these girls to survive. Because a killer is just going crazy. You know, all over the house. You don't know who's killing. And then in the remake, Agnes is doing the killing. Even though Billy's doing it too. Are they meeting somewhere? Was this plan? I don't understand this logic of the family. I really don't. I mean, this is nothing to explain. Dimension Films, what the fuck were you thinking? Were you high when you made this? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. High people can make better moves than you can. Oh, I guarantee you that. And you know what? Let's see. I gotta keep looking at my notes here. It's just... God, Black Christmas. I mean... In the original Black Christmas, you it left an open mind. You didn't know who the killer was. You thought this person was the killer or that person was the killer, but at the end, you didn't know because everyone died. Spoiler alert. But in the remake, you wouldn't know who the killer is. So what's the fucking point? I'm making a fucking movie if you're going to show the killer. If you're going to show its backstory, you can show its backstory, yes. But keep it like in a, like a, like in a side conversation, you know? Don't keep it like a main thing. Yes, it's a main thing, but keep it like a side conversation that the sorority sisters are talking about. You know, it's like, like on, like on a, 
like on a piece of paper, like a newsletter. It's like, all right, this and this, this happened. Wow, that's crazy, you know? Well, we got snowed in and everything. Let's try to make the best of it, you know? And then all of a sudden they find out, whose house is this? Billy. Billy that escaped from the asylum not so long ago? Yeah. And we snowed in his own house. We're fucked. We are so fucked, guys. <laughs> That's how it is. It really is like that. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm tortured. This movie ends, don't even have to say it, like, do I even have to finish this review to like, do I even have to say how the movie ends? Fuck it, I have to. You know, before I end, you know, the review, I do want to talk about this cover. This cover actually looks pretty nice. But, is Mary Elizabeth Winston is in this cover? It kind of looks like her. I could be gone. Maybe it's not her. But, if it is her, then why was the point of putting her in there if she died really fast? Anyways, the remake was like that. Um, I mean, come on. You had, you had a poster showing a person that died, and then the first person that died is the same way they died in the cover. So, it's kind of a spoiler alert. But, whatever. But... I like how this movie just lies to you straight out. Let the sleigh ride begin. And what does it say in the front? One of the best horror movies in years. I'm not lying, it says it right here. The best horror movie in years. In years. By the way, when you watch this movie, oh, you just, you're bored. You're just fucking bored. The best horror movie in news. The fuck were you thinking? Dimension films. Fuck you. Fuck you. And I'm sure there are nice people in Dimensions. But holy shit, you do not get your priorities straight, don't you? Fuck. It is mind-boggling how much you, you can, you have these great directors, and then you're like, no, let us make this movie. Your job is to hire a director, and if you like the script, then greenlight it. All right, and I know sometimes the studio might be like, "I'll oh, change this, change that." No, some no dimension. <laughs> they completely changed the whole script because that's how dimension films is. If they done it to Halloween, oh, they pretty much probably did it with this one. God damn it! Is it too late to sell my soul? Because, I mean, I already sold my soul a long time ago. But still, is it is it too late to sell it again? I mean, so I won't have to remember this god-awful movie. Um, I'm sorry, guys. It's just, if, I don't want to be that negative, but they're all good stuff in this movie. The killing is nice. It is, actually. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, when Billy kills, quote-unquote, his stepdad, he just goes like, whoosh! Step right through his eye before he kills his mom. His mom's like, ah! And I'm like, yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Exactly. But for him to show himself and everything is kind of. It's like, yes, but at the same time, something's missing. You know? It's like he needs a mask because he needs to be mysterious. All we just don't know, all we just don't have to know his backstory. You know, you could have just said that, oh, I hurt this, I hurt that. You know, the sorority sister couldn't talk about it, you know? But they don't. You just bitch! 
What's wrong with these? What's wrong with these? What's wrong with this movie? What, what is wrong with this movie? Let's uh, let's talk about the ending, shall we? So, anyways, let's just have more notes here. Well, at the end, Billy gets burnt. He does. They, you know, that's it. Yep, he dies. He just, they burn him. That's it. Review over. Bye. What? That's not it. What do you mean that's not it? There's three endings? What's the ending that we got? Check. Uh, they go to a mug? Agnes kills one of the sisters. And then the blonde chick from Friday the Fuck. Friday the 13th Nightmare on Elm Street remake. This blonde chick has been almost in every remake. Yeah. I didn't talk about her, but... She's in this movie. That's how you know that movie's gonna be bad. I mean, what the fuck? You know the guy that made this movie? Hates it. Why? Because the producers... Oh, I'm sorry. Dimension... Films decided to change a few things. Like the trailer. Bad advertisement dimensions. Bad fucking advertisement. This is not a movie. No, it's not. There are nice things in it. But overall, this is not a movie. This is a cash in. This is a money grubbing, motherfucking pissed off, poor shit cash in. Then after that, um, Agnes gets electric shock. Yeah, in the head. Thank God. And then, obviously, Billy comes. You thought he was dead, right? No, he's not. He's not dead. But then he gets fucked up by a Christmas tree. Happy holidays, I guess. Because, you know, the movie has to remind you it's Black Christmas. Black Xmas. You are fucking lazy. And that's it, actually. Yeah, he gets impaired and the movie ends. But the three different endings. The blonde chick, actually, one of the best endings is where they go to the hospital. The blonde chick has her cell phone and it rings and she doesn't pick it up. But the camera, or you know, the PO, that camera shot, you know, just goes out and shows her, in, shows her the window frame and everything. Also leaves there. And basically she just has her phone call and the, and the camera's just panning out and that's how the movie ends. Um... That should have been the original ending, in my opinion. That's a better ending. Yeah, the movie would have been, eh, kind of crappy, but at least you got a perfect ending, you know? So, with that ending, at least the movie would have been... Would have been kind of like the remake. It would have still been shit! But, at least it would have been like, hey, at least they kind of did it like the remake. I mean, well, the original. <laughs> the remake sucks. The original is fucking awesome, as always. And... And damn it, these fucking trailers. I mean, this, this, these, these fucking different endings. I mean, there's three different endings, but the other one is... Let's see. Uh, when Billy... When, and when it shows... Alright... The other one is when Agnes kills Lee and then Billy dies in a hospital bed. That that should should have never been made. Because it's almost the exact same thing as the one you got in the DVD. Well, as Leash in the movie theaters. But the trailer 
God damn you, the fucking trailer. You were even lazier. Alright, you know what they did? This is what the mention films did. This is what they did. If you actually see the Black Christmas trailer, you'd be like, some of those stuff are not in the movie. Why? Because they actually shoot some stuff because they wasn't happy of what they saw in the fight of product. So, I'm thinking, okay, maybe they, you know, made, you know, took some shots and then put it in the movie, right? No. They just put it in the trailer. False advertisement. You don't even see those stuff that's in the that's in the trailer, not in the movie. The stuff that he's saying in the trailer, not in the movie. Dimension Films, what the fuck? I have nothing else to say, but god damn, this is just... It is mind-boggling how stupid you are. How retarded you can fucking be. Just like this movie. This is the Skull Clown signing off. Have a great Christmas and have a great, great New Year. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you think about this wretched movie. If you love it or you hate it. Hey, tell me why you love it. Tell me why you hate it. Um, But hey, if you love it, you love it. I'm not going to judge you. It's, this is just my opinion. You have your own. Perfectly fine. Just like I have my own opinion with Dimension Films. I hate you so fucking much. The Skull Clown signing off. Have a nice day.